So I'm just going to give you a quick whiz around the main bits of Piglet's farm. So this is the tractor ride to the play barn. It comes every five minutes and it takes you to an awesome play barn which you'll see in the blog post if you click on the link or go down. This is the show time at the moment, it's the summer, so not that you tell by the weather, but there's a kind of magic show on at the moment. We went to the 12 o'clock showing and it was awesome. It was really good, the boys really enjoyed it. There's foam cannons over there, so at 4 o'clock in the summer they get absolutely drenched with foam, so we'll probably enjoy that soon. There is loads of play parks dotted around it's wheelchair and pram friendly there is the farmyard trail over there where there's kind of a petting zoo and a bit of a walk around the fairy trail which there's little fairy doors dotted around and they have to put the colour on the finger and then it tells them kind of their future which is really cool There's the Olympic, Olymp, Olymp, Olympic, Ob, I can't even say it, Olympic Obstacle Course, which they've awesomely named Olympic, which is awesome, which will keep your ones older than five busy for a bit. There's the Junior Kids Pillows, there, for the kind of under fours. There's the grown up ones. There's another play area, and this is the Olympic bit here, which is basically just an obstacle course. The big one, big pillow for the older ones, the water fighting centre, which is awesome. We've done this, you get with entry, you kind of get four free water balloons. But if you pay, I think you pound more, you can get some more. So, highly recommend that. There's the pig racing, which was a bit before, um, which we didn't actually get a chance to go to, but it looked really, really good. This is the free crazy golf. So, balls and sticks there. And you go all the way around. And yeah, as I say, it's free, everything's free. You just pay for some extras if you want them. And there's the awesome carts. So you can see the two seater trike ones there. There's a few of those dotted around. We have a four year old and he kind of struggled to reach the pedals of the bigger ones by himself. But the go karts were, were pretty awesome. And the boys' favourite coming up. There's a little um, smaller tractor rides. So I recommend your kids being confident in sitting down and being left because it goes off for about two minutes. And, but you can go in with your kids, but it's a bit of a squash and a squeeze in there. And then there's the maze over there, which is awesome. Probably takes you about five minutes max to get through. But again, if you've been to any standard maze, it's it's well worth it. It's uh, kind of a time trial one, so there's a little post dotted throughout and you kind of go through with a key and kind of swipe in every section and then there's kind of a leaderboard. So riding on tractors with a little bridge. And there's another sand pit over there. The toilets. And there are some more dotted around the place as well. There's places, there's loads of benches to eat, so if you bring your own food, you can sit and chill either inside, but you can sit and chill out here. In the Truffles Cafe where we went, I got a burger, the boys got hot dogs, reasonably priced too. You can have birthday parties here as well. So this is usually closed off to birthday parties, I think, but today it's open to the general public. And then we're kind of back at the start. So yeah. I like to just show you a little bit of what to expect at Piglet's Farm, but I highly recommend it for young ones and old ones. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.